Hi there, it's Monday the 12th of November 2012. Took one trade today, a profitable trade, so I'm quite pleased. Just want to take you through it quickly. So this is how the daily chart is looking at the moment. Um, we've got this bear, tight bear channel uh, on the daily chart. Um, and this is today's action, making a doji. So zoom in so you can see that a bit more. So we've got a doji there. We've come down to the bottom of the trend line. So I'm expecting maybe consolidation up to the up to here along this line, and then a sell off back down to the bottom of the channel. Um, or we could just consolidate here for a while and then break out back up to 2860. But I think that's unlikely. I'm expecting more down. Uh, so back to today, um, we gapped up. We had this uh, bear trend from last week and then we kind of got into a bit of a trading range so um, I was watching how market was going to react to the 62 high of Friday and um, the market came into the overnight highs was at the same level as this high here so if we got a reversal at this area I was looking to sell it and that's exactly what I was looking for on bar 3 so um, place to sell stop limit under bar three with a stop um actually the stop yeah it was above the highs at 97 and a half um which is kind of this level here i then um just held it really and the market formed kind of a bare channel so i got out of the trade down here at uh, 84 and three quarters so I took a 2R trade on that one um, what I liked about this was that the market actually ticked through the overnight high can you see that let me just zoom in ticked through um, and got some bulls trapped in at this high here and um, tried again to push through here and then collapsed so I quite like that trade the other thing to look at here um, I did consider holding this for another leg down. So I've drawn a leg in here. See this arrow? So if we copy that arrow and move it to the 14 high, I was very—I I almost placed a, a short under bar 14 because we've pulled back to the moving average. See this moving average here? It's also a double top with 10 uh, and on low volume. Look at the volume for this pullback. So. So three confluent reasons to um, short there and if you draw a line from here to here and bring it down it's also a trend channel line so lots of confluence to take a short under 14 I didn't take it because I got a decent profit on my first trade and it's a US holiday so I thought it was um, it was quite likely the market was just going to come back down to the 10 low and then just consolidate and waffle around a bit um, so if we look at this move down, it comes almost down to the 22 low, which is almost the low of the day. So that was, you know, if I, if I had got short there, I probably would have looked to take profits maybe a few points above uh, around the 19 low, something like that. So that would have been a really nice trade, but I, I decided not to take it. Um, then after we broke the um, trend channel line, this bear channel line, um, down here at about 28 ish and we went to this trading range but but have a look at this trading range you've got one two three pushes down and then a push up so wedge ball flag uh, and a final flag major trend reversal so taking a um, 2r trade above bar 34 would have been a nice easy 15 minute trade could have taken 4r out of that easily or if you missed that, if you wanted more confirmation, what you could have done, which is probably the more high probability trade, I think going long above bar 34 is uh, you're taking information risk because you don't know what the market is going to be doing really. Because it could just poke through here and come back down. This could be a bear flag. Um, but but this bar here is, you know, once you see these three pushes down, consolidating at these lows as well from uh, Friday morning. Um, so that's a higher low. I think that um, 
going long above bar 35 might have been a better trade and got getting out at, at this level here, this double top area uh, for 2R. So that was that was nice. Um, <clears throat> I was expecting the market to go a bit higher than this on the on this retrace. I was expecting uh, something like this back up to here, but the market didn't make it. So um, that's it. That's it for me. So I took uh, eight and a half points profit. Um, what I did like about this trade, I took about four points profit. Uh, four point stop when I started. We just zoom in a little bit. Um, and when bar six formed, I moved my stop above bar six, and that was about six ticks um, stop. And then when the bar seven closed, I moved my stop over bar seven. So I had a three tick stop there and a 34 tick target. So I was looking for like a 10 hour trade. So after 10 minutes, I'd reduced my risk from 2R and my target to 11R. So I had a such a small risk for such a big gain. And that's, what, that's why I like this trade and why I want to brag about it. Um, and it's also a part of my total and absolute focus on risk. Um, I think this finally sunk in with me from my lesson on Friday here. Um, just you can go and look at the video if you're interested. Um, but I'm always, always now looking to just get out of any trades that look like they're not going to work. This here is a, just a normal pullback. So it's a breakout pullback short here. So I wasn't scared of the six um, bull, especially on lower volume as well. Um, so yeah, yeah, so pleased with that. And uh, I'm done for the day now. I, I don't think the market's going to be doing a lot more could come back down to these lows but um, I don't want to take any more risks so I'm going to end the video. See you next time.